The Boston Bruins dominated the Florida Panthers in game one of their second round NHL playoff series, securing a commanding five, one victory on the road. Jeremy Swayman, the Bruins' standout goaltender, was the star of the night, stopping an impressive 38 shots, including all seven on the Panthers' power plays. The game was a showcase of the Bruins' offensive prowess and defensive resilience. Brandon Carlo, who had just become a father earlier in the day, opened the scoring for Boston, finding the back of the net with 21 seconds remaining in the second period. This emotional moment set the tone for the Bruins' performance as they rallied around their teammates' personal milestone. The Bruins' scoring was not limited to Carlo, however. Morgan Geeky, Mason Lowray, Justin Brazo, and Jake DeBrusque also found the back of the net for Boston, with Pavel Zacha contributing two assists. This offensive outburst came after the Panthers had taken an early one. Zero lead through Matthew Tikachuk's goal midway through the second period. The Bruins' response was swift and decisive. Geeky tied the game just 67 seconds after Tika Chuck's goal, and Lowry put the Bruins ahead 325 later, giving Boston the lead they would not relinquish. The Bruins' three-goal second period proved to be the turning point of the game as they seized control and never looked back. Swayman's performance was a key factor in the Bruins' victory. The 25-year-old goaltender who has been in net for all five of Boston's wins so far in these playoffs was stellar once again just as he was against the Toronto Maple Leafs in the previous round. Swayman's 38 saves, including a perfect performance on the Panthers' power plays, kept the Bruins in the game and allowed their offense to take over. The Panthers, who had been idle for a week, struggled to keep up with the Bruins' momentum. Sergei Bobrovsky, the Panthers' starting goaltender, made 24 saves but was unable to match Swayman's heroics. The Panthers' inability to rally from a 1-0 deficit is a concerning trend, as they have only managed to do so twice in nine previous playoff series. The Bruins, who finished the regular season with 109 points, have now defeated the Panthers all five times this season. While their previous four meetings were decided by a single goal or two, the tide turned in Game 1 as the Bruins seized control after taking the lead. Brazo's insurance goal with 12.47 left in the third period, and DeBrusque's empty netter sealed the victory for the Bruins, who now hold a 1-0 series lead. The Panthers' attempts to mount a comeback were thwarted, and Bobrovsky was pulled with 5.30 remaining in the game. The Bruins' dominant performance in Game 1 has set the tone for the rest of the series. Their ability to rally from a deficit, their offensive depth, and Swayman's exceptional goaltending have all contributed to their success. The Panthers, on the other hand, will need to regroup and find a way to counter the Bruins' strengths if they hope to even the series in Game 2, which is scheduled for Wednesday night in Sunrise.